All right, what is going on guys? Today's video is just gonna be a little bit of a classroom session. I'm gonna be breaking down some common misconceptions that people have when they're starting SMMA before they even land their very first client. Um, and these are some of the things that I struggled with uh, when I was uh, you know, first starting off. It's just a mindset thing. Um, that's the main thing that you know stops people from scaling their agency to like past $10,000 a month. It's very, very easy to do. It's just your mindset is not right. Um, so the very first thing that we're going to be covering is like whenever you guys are sending cold emails in particular, um, this could work for any other cold outreach method, but specifically for cold emails, um, you guys essentially would think, okay, you like the cold email is the reason that I'm going to, you know, set this meeting and it's the reason that I'm going to sign this client, right? That's not the case, right? Because the cold email, think about it like this. It's, it's essentially just a means for you to end up getting, um, you know, what you want in the end, which is to set the meeting with the client or like, you know, the discovery call and then end up closing them. Right. Um, so it's not about the email itself. It's about what you can get from the email. Right. So for example, let's say you're like a e-commerce brand, right. And you're getting like 50 different emails a day from, um, social media marketing agencies that are just starting to like, you know, just spring up, um, out of thin air. And they're just, uh, you know, emailing you saying, you know, we are going to run your Facebook ads. Um, and so, you as an e-commerce, you know, brand owner, like, how are you going to see that? Right. You're going to be like, okay, what past results does this person have? Like, I don't even know who this is. Um, do they have any, you know, past case studies? Do they have any guarantees? Like, you know, a refund guarantee Do they have anything like that. And so what you guys want to do when you're sending your cold emails is you want to bring them through a sales funnel. So you want to have an entire funnel set up so that once they click on your email, you have some sort of like, um, you start a conversation with them. And then once they respond to that first email, you kind of have them like hooked now. Right. And so from there you can send them a link to your website and then on your actual website, you should have an entire sales funnel set up. So essentially it automates, um, the process of you booking your meeting. So once they click on that link, they're going to go through all the different steps. Um, they're going to see your past results on the website. They're going to see, um, you know, your guarantee, they're going to see the past um, clients that you've worked with, they're going to see all these different things. And then from there, you have like a booking link on your actual website, and then they can book a meeting with you. Um, and then at the same time, this is going to qualify, you know, these leads, because it wasn't a situation where you are going out hunting after these people. And you are essentially trying to force the conversation. Because what I've noticed is like, whenever you guys force conversations, whenever you guys are forcing um, your out your cold outreach, um, it never gets anywhere because most of these people, they're just not interested or they don't have the money to pay for this, or they already have someone doing their advertising. So what you want to then do is you want to start a conversation with, um, you know, these e-commerce brands. And this is specifically for people who are doing e-com. Um, it could work for other niches as well, but, um, I personally do e-com and this is just, you know, work for me, but essentially, um, you know, bring them through the sales funnel, make sure that your funnel is up to date. Um, so essentially you're going to start off with something along the lines of like, this is who our, our, like our ideal client is like, you know, the type of brands that we typically work with. And then you just insert a number that like they're doing per month. So for me, for example, I do like, you know, we work with e-commerce brands that are doing at least 50 K per month. And then we help them scale to the next level and pass their competitors. Right? So when they see this, they're thinking, okay, we're going to pass, you know, 50 K per month. We're going to, you know double the amount that we're making per month guaranteed, or we get a like complete refund. And then worst case scenario, they get to keep all the information that I gave them. They get to keep all the data points. They get to keep pretty much all the data in general. And then at the same time you, you throw in, you know, that they're going to get to pass their competitors and you even can, you can even list some of their like main competitors. Um, if you have like certain extensions, it's going to tell you like who's their top competitors that like they're actually competing against in their local niche. And so, yeah, you just have to frame your offer in a way that, you know, once they see it, this is something that like, they can't go without, without like accepting your offer because they're going to wake up the next morning and they're going to be like, okay, I just missed out on something big. Right. And then the second thing that you guys want to keep in mind is you want to do follow-up emails. Now I'm not saying that you personally have to go and like manually do your follow-up emails and just go through all your sent list and just send a second email and just copy and paste because that right there is a nine to five in and of itself, because you're doing your outreach for the day. 
which by the way, you guys should be doing at least 100 to 150 emails per day on your own if you're doing cold emails. And then you can also hire an uh, outreach assistant as well um, to help you, you know, double, triple that number. Um, but essentially, right, the amount of follow-ups that you guys are sending out, it should be somewhere around five to six um, different follow-ups that you guys are doing for each specific business that you guys have actually done outreach to, right? So the way that SMA is going right now with all this oversaturation and all these things, you want to make sure that you're having at least four to five touch points at the very minimum with all these businesses that you're reaching out to. Because if you just send them one email, right, it could easily get lost in the wind, even if you know you separated yourself from all the other agencies and you made a specific offer um, and you made sure to have a unique guarantee and you know your email was so like unique compared to all the other agencies that are reaching out you know your subject line was in all lowercase or you know you had this amazing subject line that you know caused them to click um and you know even then your email is going to get lost um among all the other hundreds of emails right so what you want to then do is i recommend uh this platform called gmas right which is what i personally use right so and by the way, make sure that your emails are warmed up before you do go ahead and use this uh, software because I feel like with a lot of these uh, people that are starting off with SMA these days, like they just jump straight into doing like 100 emails a day, 200 emails a day plus follow-ups, which you're going to completely destroy your, your, your deliverability. But essentially what I do is I'll have like pre-written follow-ups and then once I send out the first email, I'll pretty much like schedule you know, when the follow-ups are going to go out. So the second email is pretty much just me handling the objection before the objection even comes up. So essentially, I'll just go ahead and I'll pretty much explain to them who I am, um, how long I've been doing SMMA. You guys don't have to make this like a true story or whatever. Like as long as it's just like something that can help you like land the client, that's essentially what I do. Um, and then I'll just show them some past case studies, um, explain to them, you know, the exact strategy that we're going to use. And then I'll use like fancy terms like cost per click, cost per lead, and then just explain to them how we can get them, you know, a cost per acquisition. So for me, um, since I'm working with e-commerce, it would be like per sale. Um, e-commerce companies don't typically go by leads um, because a lead is useless for e-commerce because especially if it's like a clothing company because you have such thin margins, right? And then on top of that, you're just going for leads, which means that you're going to have to spend even more advertising money on retargeting these exact clients and then there's a high chance that they're not even gonna purchase anything right so um, you want to just go straight for sales um, which I like I pretty much make that clear to them and I say you know we're gonna go straight for sales um, and you know again I just leverage past companies that I've worked with um, and I just say things like you know we help them 2x uh, their monthly income and this is the guarantee that we have for all of our clients or your money back and then the third email is pretty much just me um, asking them, like, did they see the previous email? Um, you know, let's talk about some of like what, like what some of your pain points are. Um, so, you know, maybe we could figure out a way to help you, you know, your business grow. Um, and then the fourth email is just me saying something along the lines of like, you know, like, are you guys interested in working together? Um like this is this is it. This is all I had for you guys. It's now time to set up a meeting, and then I have that final call to action. And then there's probably gonna be like one or two more emails. And then if they don't respond, I pretty much just leave it at that. And I just know that they're either not interested, they don't have the money for it, or they already have someone who's running their advertising. And by the way, most of the companies that I'm reaching out to, these are like, you know, mid-sized to like bigger companies that already have like a ton of money coming in, at least like six figures, right? per year, by the way. So it's like monthly, they're making like at least $10,000 a month um, minimum. And, you know, they have entire teams and things like that. And so if you can land one of these clients, you can get them on like a higher retainer. Um, but, you know, be warned, you're going to have to produce good results for them if you do want to retain them, like obviously. And then it's going to be a lot harder because, you know, they're e-commerce plus they're in such a high um, income bracket, I guess. So yeah, but that's that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.